Hi, this is Latonya Williamson. I just want to thank you so much for joining me today and watching my channel. This is a very special video today that I'm going to try to make for you, and I hope that you really, really love it and enjoy it, especially if you're wanting to learn how to play the ukulele. This is the first video that I've ever done about how to play the ukulele, and I know that there's a lot of people um, that want to know how. And I'm going to treat this as if this was the very first time you ever picked up your ukulele, the first time you ever tried to learn anything on it, like your very first lesson. And I'm, I'm not going to go extremely fast, but I'm going to go a little bit fast. Uh, because, no, I'm not going to treat it like you're a little bitty child. I want to treat it like you are an adult and intelligent, which I know you are. And I know in a few videos back, I had said I was wanting to do this and I really have been wanting to make a teaching video for a very long time on my channel and so I'm so glad today's the day and um, you don't have to read music to play the ukulele at all that's what I love about this instrument and uh, you know if you can read music that's just an added bonus but if you don't know how that's okay you don't have to know how to read the music at all and I'm going to teach you some really fun things that I think anybody that loves the ukulele would want you to know, that, especially myself after learned, playing it for a few years now. I love the fact that you can just take, you know, a few of the beginner chords that you could learn, and I'm going to teach them to you today, and you can play so many fun songs with them. I have watched a lot of the girls on YouTube uh, that play ukulele, and men too, occasionally, but um, a lot of them that I really love was uh, Elise Eklund and Miss Bernadette. They both have YouTube channels too, and I've watched them uh, teach all these chords I'm going to teach you today, and I promise you that you can do this if you really want to, and you're going to have so much joy when you practice and when you play. and. That's what's so great about ukulele because sometimes circumstances or just things happen in life or something you might be going through, no matter what it is, what you might have to deal with that are difficult. Uh, and you can pick up the ukulele at the end of a hard day and you can totally forget about all your troubles. And I know you think, is that really possible? But I promise you that it, it, it really is because it's happened to me many, many times. And then the joy just kind of washes over you of happiness and you're like, wow, I forgot all the bad things that happened earlier. So that's why I do my channel. That's why I'm doing this video for you today. This is for that person who might be saying, I had a really tough day and I want to pick up a new instrument for, a, uh, maybe it's just for a hobby or maybe it's for fun or maybe it's just, you're really serious and want to do it. but. No matter what the reason is, I hope that you do. Get you a ukulele. This is the, the Nova Travel ukulele, and it's very small and easy to take with you anywhere you want to go. And you can pick it up, and even just for the smallest little things, you will start to love playing ukulele. And for people who already know how to play guitar, the ukulele is the perfect little fun instrument for you to learn because it's really, really, I don't want to say that it's totally easier, but probably is easier than the guitar. So if you know already how to play guitar like that, you're going to learn ukulele. And even if you've never picked up a ukulele before, and this is the first time and you're watching this video saying, oh, I've never picked up a ukulele, I've never played it before. The first thing you do is when even, you know, you may have straps that you can hold it and put it around you like I have this one. But if you don't and you're just holding it, that's fine too. And when you hold your ukulele, I always say, you know, you come to it. Don't let it come to you. You come to it and just take a deep breath and know that you can do this. You really, really can. There's four strings on the ukulele. Most of the guitars have six strings, but on ukulele, there's four strings, like you can see here on this ukulele. The first string is the G string. I just tuned my instrument just a few minutes ago, so I know it's in tune. G. The second string is the C string. It gets quite a bit darker there. The third string down is the E string. 
And the last string, the fourth one down here, is the A string. collection uh, video I you know tell you how I always think of you know something that starts with that letter for to I can remember the string especially when I first started so G C E A G C E A and it doesn't matter what it is you can think of anything that starts with that letter and maybe it might help you to remember those you know, the name of the strings on the ukulele. But I always say G is for Grace. And C is for Charlotte. D is for Eula. And A can be for Apple. It can be anything you want it to be. But it can be anything of those things that you want it to be. And make something that you can remember. I know, um, I think Grace, won uh, I forget her last name, but she plays ukulele too. And she always would do something with it that would make a make a sentence with it. I forget what her sentence was. I can't remember it. I hate that I can't remember it. But it was like grace can eat apples, something like that. <laughs> so that's how she could remember the name of the strings on the ukulele. So it's G, C, E, A. And so you can tune them right here if you have a tune. And I have my tuning thing in the next room there. But you can tune them right there if they're not in tune. And I highly recommend, especially if you get a new ukulele, that you tune it every single time before you try to play. Because your ear will get used to that. And you don't want to get used to hearing your string being played out of tune. So you need to tune it every single time before you play anything. And also, I always even retune mine again before I put them in my case to put up for the night or whenever I'm playing. And also, another thing to remember when you, before you even play anything on the ukulele too, is to, but, but where you place your fingers at. And this is your fretboard, and of course the sound hole right here. And now here's where some of the sound comes out too, on this particular ukulele. But where you put your thumb at, you can see here on this, I'm putting it about halfway down for all beginners. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna, be tight when you're playing your notes and you don't want your thumb to be way over here it needs to be just right here in the middle so that your fingers have plenty of room to reach all the notes that you're going to try to play here and these i'm going to actually teach you four notes today and with these four notes go chords i'm sorry you'll be able to play a lot of things and that's what i love about the ukulele especially when i first started playing it was that with just a few chords, and these are the very first chords that I learned too. There's many, many chords. I don't know, I want to say hundreds, but there's a lot of chords on the ukulele, and I know a whole lot of them now. But when I first began playing, these were the first little chords that I learned. These first four chords, you can play almost anything. And there's a lot of songs with these four chords that you can play, and you're gonna be amazed that you can play them with them, and it'll bring you so much joy and happiness. And also, for this very first lesson, we're only gonna use these first three frets right here. We're not gonna worry about anything else on the rest of the frets. Just those first, this is fret one, fret two, and fret three, and that's just these little spaces right here. You can see. When you put your thumb and how you hold them, I always say, let your hand be very, very loose. Like you wanna have plenty of room, almost curved when you put your fingers down to make a chord. And so your thumb's gonna be right here in the middle, in the back of it. And cause I have, I've seen a lot of beginner people that are trying to play and maybe they, they press so hard that and then it doesn't come out, their sound doesn't come out clearly. Or, Maybe they're, they're not holding it right. So just make sure you're really relaxed and that you hold your hand. I've actually heard Miss Bernadette say like a mouse house. <laughs> like, like, just like you should be able to fit like a little space right there when you put your curve a little bit so you can get all your little notes in when you're playing the ukulele. And also strumming is another thing. You make sure that you, I just kind of go like that with my, my pointer finger. And you don't have to be right over the sound hole. We can kind of be right in here when you go down the strum down. Let it really ring. And the first thing that I always
always say we're a beginner when you are playing a note. I mean, I'm not pressing anything down unless you just open. But make sure, and as a beginner, it's easy to make the mistake. Maybe you're not going down all four strings as you play. You can even use your thumb. But make sure you don't just go on flat low. And you don't have to play real As you go down to strum your notes or play a song, I highly recommend just doing down strums. That's all you have to do for this very first lesson. I want it to be where it's a, a somewhat of a challenge to you, but not too hard or not too difficult either. And so I say don't worry about fancy strumming. Don't make it hard on yourself. Just do down strums because on ukulele there's a lot of Complicated. You'll soon learn if you do <laughs> get into it. There's a lot of different kind of strumming patterns that you can do for different songs that make it sound more accurate and correct as you're singing and playing. And, but just to start off with, if this was your very first time you ever picked up ukulele, just do down strums. That's all you have to worry about right now. Make it easy. And if you get a little bit better, you could actually do down. just with my thing like even just my pointer finger here one two and then when you go up it's just on the soft part of your nail I would highly recommend too to keep your nails kind of especially on the ones where you're going to be pressing the, the, the strings down to make a note to not have long fingernails because it'll make it a little bit harder to press it down you want to press it down like right there right there on your finger on the you know you don't want it to be, not your nail pressing it down for sure, <laughs> but just right there on the tips of your fingers. And you know, you can have a little bit longer nails on this side if you want to when you're strumming, but you don't have to. So you can go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So I know you can't wait. Let's do the very first note that I'm going to teach you. So the very first chord that we're going to learn today is the C chord and it is very very easy I promise you that it is it's on the third fret down we're going to use our ring finger always always use your ring finger to do the C chord don't use your middle finger or your index finger because it will I'm afraid it might uh, confuse you or mess you up later on when you're trying to do uh, different kind of notes. I just highly recommend that's the one I always use to play the C chord. So use your ring finger and put that on the third fret on the A string, the very bottom string here. And let's just try to play that. You ready? And strum it, I mean. Here we go. See if you can get a sound out. That's what it should sound like. That's a C. We're just doing down strums. Let's do four down strums. Ready? One. There you go. Or that's what it should sound like. Now the second note I'm going to teach you is the G or the G chord, and that's what it looks like. It's a little more complicated. It's the hardest of the four that I'm going to be teaching you today. But all you have to do is we're going to use our index finger, our middle finger, and our ring finger. And, you know, when you first start playing too, another thing I forgot to mention is that sometimes you know, your fingers will be really tender till you get used to them. But I promise you it's not as hard as playing the the guitar because the strings on the ukulele are softer so hopefully you'll get used to it really soon and you'll build up calluses on your fingers to where it won't hurt you at all but the the G chord here is you put on the second fret your index finger goes right here on the C string and again we're still on the second fret and we're gonna take our middle finger put it right down there on the A string and last one is our ring finger. And that's why I say always make your fingers really loose to where it's not hard on you to do this. So if you put your thumb on the back 
right about halfway down the middle of your where you're holding it here you should easily be able to reach this ring finger you don't want to have your fingers like this because when you try to strum see it doesn't come out clearly but if you've got plenty of room here which your index finger right there on the C chord your middle finger on the A string and your ring finger right there is where it goes can you see that so we have on the second fret our index finger on the C string our middle finger down here on the A string our ring finger is going to go right here on the third fret the E string so we have C string A string and then right there our ring finger is going to be on the E string on the third fret now let's try to play that this is G down really hard on your strings if it's not coming out it should sound just like mine now let's go back to the C again I'm testing you if you're playing with me put it on the C you remember which one the C the third fret down right here your ring finger goes on the A string so this is C let's go back to G now where was G at G is the second fret, your first finger goes right there. On the C string, your middle finger goes on the bottom string is the A string, and your ring finger goes right back up here on the E string of the third fret. You ready? Let's do four of those. There you go. So we have C, and now we just learned G. two more before we're done today the third note we're gonna learn is the A minor it's not difficult either it's very easy it's as easy as the C chord was the A minor is on your second fret right here and again I always use this same finger every time I play A minor I always use my middle finger and the middle finger is gonna go right up here on the top the very top string the G string on the second fret. Let's play four of those. You can do this. You got this. This is what it should sound like. This is A minor. Let's do let's do four more. I'm gonna just do it with my thumb and strum. I'm just doing down strums. So now we have three notes. Let's review again. We have the C, which with our ring finger down here on the third fret. G, first finger, index finger is on the C string, middle finger is on the A string, ring finger, third fret, the E string. And the third one, does anybody remember it? A minor, top G string with our middle finger on the second fret. This is A minor. Do four of those and the last note for today is we're going to learn is the F chord and if you can do the A minor chord let's put our middle finger right there back on the A minor for on the very top string in the second fret which is the G string you're pressing down you're gonna take your index finger and on the first fret go three down this is the E string that you're gonna be pressing down on the first fret with your index finger. Hold it, let's play that one. This is F. Let's do four more. This is still F. I'm just doing down strums. You can do this. So now, four notes you just learned. Let's do it one more time. C. G, A minor, and F. And with those four notes, you can learn all kinds of things that you are going to be so happy that you can play on the ukulele. 
Another thing I'd highly recommend for you to do too, if you practice after this, you do not have to practice a whole lot of time on the ukulele, but I know from past uh, teachers that I have watched on the ukulele that they highly recommend that you try to at least just, even if you don't have a lot of time, the more the better, but if you don't, it's okay. If you just do 10 or 15, 20 minutes in the evening, you know, while you have a chance to, a little bit of time to spare maybe, every day you will not you will be so happy and surprised of how well you will get at this and how easy it will become to you um but highly i highly recommend set a special place anywhere you can in your house somewhere if you, even if it's just a little place in your room a bench you could sit on maybe with your ukulele there and all the things you need just so that it's right there and you know you'll be seeing it you'll want to practice and i highly recommend also that you practice 10 to 15 minutes every day consistently. Don't think, well, I can just skip a couple days and uh, at the end of the week, I'll just put an hour in to practice because it's really getting your mind and your brain and your fingers working those nodes that you will learn it so much better and, and keep it, retain that information. And it's just practicing it over and over and over again. Um, Another thing you could do were these four with these four notes that I just taught you to practice each week every day for maybe 10 to 15 20 minutes if you can as a very beginner I would recommend just doing this so that you can remember these notes without having to think much about them and just go you know from C to G from C to G and just do that back and forth to G to C to G and then do from C to A minor from C to A minor and C to A minor and then do C to F C to F I know when I was a beginner I did this over and over again and you soon learn and then start it like just shake your finger for a second get it all out and then do it like start with G this time. G to C. G to C. And G to A minor. G to A minor. G to F. G to F. And then do it with the start with A minor this time. A minor to C. A minor to C. A minor to G. A minor to G. A minor to F. A minor to F. And then the same way and shake your fingers all a little bit. Start with F this time. Let's do F. Ready? F. Go to C. F. To C. F. Let's do the G this time. G. F. To G. F. To A minor. F. To A minor. And you can practice those little drills over and over and over as much as you want to. The more you can do that and just go back and forth, you can play and it will be easy to you. Very simple and easy to you as you're practicing and playing to go back and forth between the different chords. And um, one more little thing too. I'm going to show you in the order that I taught you a couple of songs. Because what fun is it to learn those chords if you can't eventually play something, right? And play a song for somebody that you love or want to play for. And so, the, and the main reason I taught you, those were the first four notes that I learned on ukulele, and I highly recommend that those are the first four notes that you learn if you've never, if you've just first picked up the ukulele. There's many, many, many more, more complicated ones, but those are the first four, and with those four, you can learn, you can play so many songs. I'm going to maybe just pick out two or three for you here, um, or maybe four, that you can play for fun once you get those chords down really good. You can just do down strums if it's easy for you or easier. If you want to challenge yourself to a little bit, you know, more strumming pattern, you can do this same C chord here. 
and you can do down, down, up on your strumming. It's just down, strum, down, strum, up, strum. That's what it sounds like. And let it ring. So, and let's just go in the same order that I taught them to you. Ready? We're going to go C, down, down, up. Let's go to G. minor, down, down, up, and F, down, down, up. So now with those four chords that you just learned, we're going to learn do three songs. And that's the, the happiness of it all, is being able to play a song for somebody. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. These songs that I'm going to teach you, that have those same little chord progression. That's why I taught you in the order that we did of C, G, A minor, and F. Um, they're in a lot of songs. A lot of songs play those. You can do more than just these three that I'm gonna be teaching you today. But let's just do these first little three and see how you like them. They are actually some of my very, very favorite songs in all the world. So I'm really excited to teach them to you today. And here we go. This is a Beatles song, Let It Be. It follows that same chord progression. We're going to start with C to G, A minor, and F, and then we're going to just repeat it over and over and over through the whole song. It never changes. So it's really great for a beginner to learn this one. And the strumming is just going to be down, down, up. If that's too hard, you can just do down strums. So here we go. When I find myself like you been 24 hours Same chord progression as well. Here we go. It's my journey. songs that you can play around with and practice and hopefully get really good at but the whole entire song all three of those songs are those same things over and over and over throughout the entire song you play the entire song long every word in it with those four little chords so thank you for watching i hope you learned something today and hope that you learn to just learn to love the ukulele it's a great instrument hope it brings you happiness and joy like it does me 